Instead, he works his way back free. Bradlin fires, scores! Hello and welcome to the Puck Drops Here podcast. I'm your host, John Crawford, along with my brother Howie, here for uh, episode number six. Seven of season four, our Halloween show once again. Ooh, and you can't see us. You cannot see us, so uh, we are going to reveal our costumes. Well, we'll do that at the same time. Okay. Uh, are we going to do like a hint first, or what are we going to do? Um, no, I think we'll just do it. Yes, I don't know how to do a hint for mine without giving it away. Okay. Cause you'll you'll know it as soon as you, as soon as you see me. Okay. So on the count of three. Yeah. Remove your tab or whatever you got covering the camera. Okay. Oh, hold on, now I gotta get my crop ready. <laughs> okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> for three! <laughs> it's really dark, though, that your lighting is really dark. There it is. Oh, my gosh. It's oh, Wilford oh. Brimley. Today's episode is brought to you by Oatmeal. <laughs> Oatmeal's good. Fight against diabetes. <laughs> so, eat your oatmeal. <laughs> oh, man. I asked him that. I am a gorilla. A <laughs> <laughs> gorilla. With, with diabetes? Diabetes. Kong with diabetes. <laughs> but this mask is going to have to come off. Ooh. Because I'm already yeah. sweating like a pig in here. I, I got to take mine off too. I, I can't. Uh, I... That is awesome. Uh, this is up here. You got to get that. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, there we go. There we go. You got to get that lighting fixed. Because <laughs> it's dark in there. Yeah, I think... Um, I cannot so see you. It, it looks like you're sitting in the dark. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's the backlight. We'll see what your face looks like when you come back. All right, so... Yeah, it's our Halloween show, so happy Halloween, everybody. Wow, it is dark in there, Howie. <laughs> there, there. Is it dark there or something? Well, it's just heavy, heavily overcast. Oh, man, it's like nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Mm. That's, that's how Wilford likes it. Oh. <laughs> uh, so happy Halloween, everyone. Uh, Howie, do you have any hacky news today? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, no, the only thing I've seen news worthy is uh, there's one rumor already going around that uh, Dougie Hamilton may be on the trading block. Oh. But uh, that's pretty much it. And then uh, I haven't heard much more as far as what the Kings are going to do with their goaltending situation. I know they had inquired with uh, Philadelphia about Mason. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know if they're going to pull the trigger on that one or, or what. They need to do something quick, though. I mean, uh, yeah, they've 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 won like four in a row now, but they haven't been like big wins, you know. Like their last right. one, they they won in overtime, but right. Um, and the Wilds have got uh, they've had two shutouts in a row now. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, lots of good hockey going on. The big surprise, though, is Edmonton. Edmonton, yeah. They look strong, don't they? Yeah, they're looking really good, actually. Yeah. I think I, cause I, I think they were one of my teams I was going to watch this year. Or they, they were one of the, my surprise teams, I think. I think I got them picked low, though, in the standings. Uh, do you? I don't know. I oh, wait. I, I, here, I've that, got it right here. Oh, you know, I think I have mine here, too. I think I have them picked fairly low. But I know they were one of those teams that could be end up being a surprise. Mm, you, yeah, you've, you've got them in fifth. Yeah, fifth place. Yeah. So, but that's going to be a tight division anyway. Yeah. Um, I agree. You know, except for Arizona and Vancouver, I think they're going to be way down there. I think the rest could be really close. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really have that much hockey news either. I don't have any, really. Um, just been... Uh, I haven't heard anything new about the Vegas thing. I thought they were going to reveal more this month, but they really haven't done that. No, I think they're going to be doing the... I think that's next month they're supposed to yeah. reveal as far as heat uh, room and colors and all that good stuff. Yeah, so uh, we're kind of looking forward to that. Um, uh, I, yeah, I'd say Edmonton has been the big surprise this week. Uh, I mean, Montreal's playing good, but I mean, it's not really a surprise or anything. I kind of expected that, so... Yeah. Nothing new there, but yeah, I'd probably say right now Edmonton's the biggest uh, surprise that's happening at this point right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Did, have you got to see any hockey this week besides? The... Uh, uh, yeah, I watched um, a couple of the couple uh, Edmonton and Calgary games. Yeah, I'll be. I catch those at work, so. Yeah. The. The later West Coast games, I'm able to see anything on the East or out, even out here. If it's during one of my work nights, I pretty much miss them because I go to sleep as soon as I get home from my work, my day job. Yeah, I can take get my nap in before I go to my night job. Yeah, I I've got to work tonight too, as I had, you know, I'm filling in for somebody, so I'm gonna work tonight. A big game tonight for uh, Minnesota. We played Dallas. That will be big. Uh, uh, who else we got tonight? There's some other. Uh, uh, Boston, Detroit should be good. Boston plays Detroit. Um, King, Kings play St. Louis, but I don't know. <laughs> I think that well, I don't know. I'm assuming Boudet is going to be in, in in goal. Well, that's but all they got. Uh, yeah, no, they got to they got <laughs> Oh, and uh, oh, Montreal and Toronto play tonight too. That should be a good game. Yeah. And you got uh, Tampa Bay at New Jersey, Pittsburgh at Philly, which that should be a good that game. That should be good. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> 
Colorado at Arizona, Washington at Vancouver, and Nashville at San Jose. <clears throat> yeah, those are that Nashville's be good been kind of a surprise too. Yeah, they haven't been uh, playing too well. Yeah. And then the well, didn't they do this last year though, or are we talking about Columbus now? Uh, Columbus was kind of. I don't recall from my. I, I, I don't remember from last year. Okay, uh, let's go through the standings. Um, and we will start in the east as usual. In the Atlantic, Atlantic. Atlantic Division. And topping the Atlantic Division is no surprise. We've got uh, Montreal with 15 points. Um, Detroit with 12, Tampa Bay with 10, Senators with 8, Panthers and Maple Leafs at 7, Boston with 6, which that's kind of a surprise. You know, they've lost like three in a row. And the Sabres with 4, and they've lost four in a row. Oh, uh, but yeah, Boston's kind of struggling right now. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Then uh, we move to the... Uh, Metropolitan. Metropolitan Division. Pittsburgh on top with 11 points, followed closely by the Rangers with 10. New Jersey with 8 points, trailed by Washington and... Columbus, who's starting to climb back, get things going again. Yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy to see that too. And yep. Philadelphia, all three of those teams with seven points, followed by Carolina and the Islanders with six. The Islanders kind of surprised me too. They're not playing too well. Yeah, and uh, and the Caps have lost two in a row. Yeah. So I think I had them win in that division, but you know we're way we're way far away from all that. Um, moving over to the west in the central division, look at who's at top, Howie. Huh? Look at who's at top of the central division. Yes, I know. Um, Minnesota Wild with 11 points, followed I by I the Blues. The league in scoring, too, which is... Yeah, amazing, isn't it? They're generally not a high-scoring team. Oh, well, then, you know, they're a different team now. Yeah, they are. They're a different team. Uh, followed by St. Louis with 10 points. And the Blackhawks with 9. The Jets with 8. The Stars with 7. Avalanche with 6. And Preds with 5. And look how tight that is. It's going to be like that all the yeah, way to the end. I think it will be all the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, moving into the Pacific, on top we have the surprising Edmonton Oilers with 14 points. Mm -hmm. Followed close, well, four points, I guess, closely, you'd say. San Jose with 10 points. Vancouver with nine. Calgary with nine. I'm glad I'm starting, they're starting to turn things around, too. I want to see Calgary get up there. Yeah, and they've won of their last three. Yeah. So they're, yeah. they're doing well. In the yeah. uh, L.A. and Anaheim both tied at eight, and then Arizona in last with four points. Yeah. And they've got their own goaltending issues, too. Yeah. Well. Smith's been injured, so I don't know. If they're going to try and find someone. I don't know. I, I think the Kings have been very lucky. To be where they're at. Yeah, but I think they, I still think they should trade for someone. Are they, who are they going to trade? Who well, are they going to trade? They can't afford that's, it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Yeah, they, there's nobody. Oh. Yeah, it's 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 tough. It's kind of scary. I I don't know what's going to happen. I know that um, at least Zakoff is is close to coming back. Is he? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, it helps a little, but I don't know. 
It's tough having your star goaltender out um, without a a good solid backup. Yeah. yeah, and Kings have never had a really good solid backup for a long time. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the standings. Uh, there's uh, a lot of great games and a lot of great ones coming up this week. Uh, let's see how long the Wild can hang on to that spot. <laughs> I'll be interested to see how long they can hold on to that. I, I think they'll be fine there. I mean, everyone's healthy right now, and yeah. You know. But yeah, tonight tonight will be a good uh, challenge for them against Dallas. Yeah. Uh, and Dallas is coming off of a loss. Also, it's it, it, where is it playing at? Uh, it's uh, I believe it's here. Is it? Are you going? <laughs> no, no, you're work. I you're working. Uh, yeah, it is here. Yeah, I got to work yeah. tonight. Mm. No, those. Yeah, Dallas is a tough ticket to get. Yeah. All right. So. What? But I got my game tickets for my uh, free uh, goalie glove oven mitt. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, March, I think. Yeah, I can't wait to see that modeled. February. <laughs> and you will model it for us? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll be doing a lot of cooking. Yeah. Oh, you ain't cooking? <laughs> What's up, sandwiches? <laughs> Pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> you ain't cooking. Pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> Those things are so great. We're talking about the the uh, dubbed dubbed over GI Joe PSAs. Yeah. <laughs> Pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> All right, let's move into. Uh, you do you have your segment music, Howie? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> it's the important part of the show now. <laughs> let's see here. I think I saved it. <laughs> you should. Yeah, no. Where's my um All right, while well, Howie is searching <laughs> for his new segment music. <laughs> this is a very important segment. We'll just go over uh the rules. The rules of the game. <laughs> okay, I found it. Okay, go ahead and bring us in. Okay. Time for Celebrity Battle to be an NHL All-Star Coach. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) In the battle. My uh, pick for this week, but... Let's. uh, Who who do we have battling this weekend? Okay. Uh, 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 Let's just kind of build it up here a little bit so yeah the, the all-star games coming up in did you say february, february? uh no it's in Jan- january this year that's so or, weird well, this season okay it's odd because normally i believe it's in february yeah and it's it's gonna be in la yeah it's so january 29th mm-hmm. and i mean just Looking at the logo they have for the All Star thing, it just has celebrity written all over it. Um, what the hell? Is, I don't see my camera, but I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it on I there. can see that. Yeah, oh, yes, L A All Star. Yeah, okay. It, it's got celebrity written all over it. So yeah, yeah. So if they do it like last year, you know they're going to have celebrity coaches. But did did you even see the celebrity coaches last year? Did they even show them on camera? I never watched it. Oh, I can't remember if I saw them. Yeah, I never. 
But anyway, they'll probably. Well, I, think, well, I think they should have that option because I know, like, on, uh, you, you know how, like, when you use the NHL app or something, they yeah. have, like, the player specified camera that just follows one player through yeah. the whole game. Yeah. I think they need to have that where you just, it follows the celebrity. <laughs> I'm going to go get a Coke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh yeah so that's in january 29th uh, they'll probably have their celebrity coaches again and so we have um uh started voting for our who we think and, or and who you think the listeners should be our celebrity coaches uh, last week, uh, uh, we had two of our celebrities eliminated. Um, one was uh, Chaka, and the other, who was the other one? Huggy Bear. Huggy Bear were eliminated from the group, and added in was William Hong and... Ichiro Miki to they battle against Wilfred Brimley, which <laughs> is who Howie was today. And um, Cousin Oliver. <laughs> cousin Oliver. Just Cousin Oliver. From the Brady Bunch. So. Uh, so who moves so, up? Yep. So uh, I've got the results here. Um. And with 47% of the vote out of 116 votes. Ooh, more. More yeah. votes. Than Cousin Oliver. Wow. <laughs> Cousin Oliver okay. came out on top. <laughs> but he didn't break 50. No, he did not break 50. Wow, okay. So, let's now take the first eliminated one with only 2% of the vote. Ichiro Miki is gone. Ooh, okay. So, between Wilford Brimley and William Hum right. for that final spot That's right. to go up against two new celebrities that's right so the the celebrity moving on with 38 percent of the vote <laughs> wilford brimley yeah <laughs> wilford man so wilford brimley how, what was his percentage? Well, 38. 38 percent. Oh, so he was pretty close. Yeah, he, he and Cousin Oliver are battling this thing out. Uh, <laughs> Cousin Oliver had what? 40, 47 percent. 47 percent. Wow. Yeah. Will Brimley. Uh, I, I think, well, I think this, I don't know. I think my celebrity this week might give them a run. Uh huh. Especially with, with, the uh, with the photograph I submit with it because mm -hmm. has coach written all over it. Wow! It just screams coach. Okay. But we'll so I'm going to send you my my pick right now. All right. Yeah, you should be getting getting it here. All right. Do you want to tell me about it before I look at it? I mean, no, tell me, no. give me some hints on where he comes from, and. Uh, well, he he is he is a motivator. <laughs> okay. And he he could be a coach, but right. and he the picture says it all. Okay, so I got to look at the picture now.
I don't know how he got out under the radar and missed out on the first round. So perfect. <laughs> so perfect. So and the I'm picture perfect. and the and the little thing, the saying that you put on there, perfect. Yeah. Oh so wow. My, my celebrity is wow. Richard Simmons. Wow. This is this is could be groundbreaking. <laughs> yeah. I think he's gonna give cousin Oliver. And Wilford. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> wow. Now, after I've seen this, what mine is up against, I don't know if he even has a chance. <laughs> Going against these three huge heavy hitter stars. <laughs> mine was in a sitcom series between 1986 and 1993. He uh, came from a foreign land <laughs> to come and live with his cousin. Oh, I know. <laughs> 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 he, <laughs> but I don't know if he has a chance. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell his name is. I do. I I'll the tell character, you. But that's yeah. it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, he came to live with his cousin in Chicago. Can you tell his life story with that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so uh, my celebrity will be Balky Bartot Bartokolmus. Oh, I don't know. Bartimacus. Oh, you the last name. I just knew it was Balky. Yeah. <laughs> From Perfect Strangers. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one, but look what he's up against. Wow. <laughs> so, this week, we have Wilfred Brimley, Cousin Oliver, Richard Simmons. He came in as a surprise and wow. <laughs> Big. And Balky from Perfect Strangers. <laughs> Balky. <laughs> so there you have it. Go out there and vote. It will be out there today. So. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. And don't forget to vote on Tuesday. Oh wait, is it no? That's next Tuesday. Yeah, that's Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. We and still have a, one more show to do before then, yeah. I think. <clears throat> uh, so I guess we'll wrap it up here. Uh, after that, that, that was just a big surprise coming out of nowhere. The Richard yeah, Simmons I card. Got, I don't know how we <laughs> missed him the first two rounds. I don't know, but wow. That's big. <clears throat> we'll see who survives. And um, I guess that's it. Do you have anything else to add, Howie, before? Uh, I'm kind of shocked right now. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. Uh, happy mean, Halloween, if, everyone. If, what? if Richard gets by, it's because of that picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the picture for that. <laughs> <clears throat> but, you know, if mine happens to win and get in, they can do their, you know, his, uh, <clears throat> what was the dance they always did? They called it something. Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> <clears throat> I can't remember. I don't remember a dance. Yeah, the dance of joy or something like that. When they win their games, they'll do their dance of joy or whatever. Anyway, that's it for this week. Happy Halloween, everybody. Enjoy your Halloween. And uh, catch us on, well, go out to our website at www.thepuckdropsier.com and you can see our previous episodes there on our podcast page. 
Send us an email at John and Howie at puckdropsier.com. You can catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. We're also on Hockey Talk Radio, uh, radio station. It's on 24 hours a day. Has some great programs to improve your game. Look at, there he is. Oh, look at him. He's, he's <laughs> signing in as coach right there already. Uh, it is on 24 hours a day great programs to improve your game and uh, just get caught up on what's going on around the NHL that's hockeytalkradio.us and I think we will cut it up here so with that Howie we will see you next week happy Halloween we bid you all adieu trick or treat